It's finally happened guys, the Open Media Vault 8, codenamed Synchrony, has been released. And let's have a look what has changed and if it's a good time to upgrade your Open Media Vault software. And if you're new here, Open Media Vault is one of my favorite solutions for turning your old PC hardware into a powerful network attached storage device. Because it's Debian based, it's robust and best of all, it's free and it's open source. And here I have both OMV7 and OMV8 running next to each other. The installation process looks nearly exactly the same, regardless if you run it on bare metal or if you run it on Proxmox, like I do in this example. And the only main difference I noticed during the installation is that the IPv6 stack is set to run on OMV8, while on OMV7 it was set to disabled. When we go through the dashboard and various options in the user interface, it might look like there is not much that actually has changed, but there is a reason why it is listed as a new major update. If you take a look at the release notes, we can see that the biggest change is the fact that the OMV8 moves us up to the latest Debian base, which is Debian 13, codename Trixie. If I SSH to each of the instances, Open Media Vault version 7 and version 8, you can see that version 7 runs on older version of Debian, which is Debian 12, codename Bookworm, while this new version, version 8, runs on top of Debian 13, codename Trixie. But what does it mean for you? It means two things, newer packages and newer kernel uh, version. And we can check the Linux kernel version with command uname-r. And this is crucial if, for example, you are trying to build a NAS on a brand new hardware that wasn't fully supported on OMV7. Here we are looking at kernel version 6.12 right out of the box, which should bring better driver support and efficiency improvements. Next in the release notes they say replace CPU frequency utils with Linux CPU power. Uh, what does that mean? The thing is, both those tools are used for power management and performance of the processor, however the CPU frequency utils is now considered a legacy tool and this decision is kind of related to other thing they mentioned at the beginning. It says, due to technical reasons, only AMD64 and ARM64 architectures will be supported from this version onwards. And if we click on that technical reasons, it says something about salt stock, uh, etc. But what it really is, it's all about dropping 32-bit support completely from this release on. It's simply based on the fact that Debian 13 itself, which OMV runs on, that Debian dropped that support for old 32-bit processors. So OMV decided to simply follow the same pattern. And <laughs> I personally think this is a good thing. We don't want to stick to 32-bit processors anymore, and I don't think it should affect many users. But uh, regarding the Open Media Vault upgrade, if you are currently running version 7 and you want to upgrade to version 8, you can do it with one simple command, which is OMV release upgrade. <laughs> Maybe let's do it right now on this OMV 7 box, because this is Open Media Vault 7. And this is my SSH session to it. First of all, you should always run apt update and apt full upgrade before you do anything else. Uh, sorry, have to say yes, or just click enter because it's default option anyways. I mean, you always should be sure that your system is entirely up to speed and up to date, I should say, before you upgrade to the next major release. You can see a little pop-up window, pending configuration changes, but the script is still running, so let's wait for one more minute. But you can see, this is still Open Media Vault 7, yes? So if we go here, we can apply them, yes. Okay, if we run uname-r, this is newer kernel, but still for version 7. But now, we can, maybe let me clear that, we can run OMV release upgrade. We press enter. It asks you if you really want to upgrade your system to release version 8 synchrony. As this is my test instance, I say yes, and the upgrade process starts. It should take only a few minutes, it doesn't take long really. You can already see the difference. This is the kernel 6.12 being updated. I mean, we are upgrading to that version of kernel, which matches the one on the right. However, it's still Debian 12, not Debian 13. Now the packages for the Trixie are being downloaded. Trixie means Debian 13. 
and all packages and dependencies are being installed for this version of the operating system. Now PHP, Python is being upgraded. But now, have a look again. We are back to kernel, but now we've got 6.12. Oh, okay, it's already gone. But that was for Debian 13 this time. Same like we have here, on the right. That means we are nearly there. The process should be completed very shortly. And that's it. Upgrade has been completed successfully. Pre please reboot the system. And I say, okay. I say, reboot. <laughs> this is scary looking uh, warning, but we are back. So I just say, admin, open media vault. It's default uh, user and password. I log in. We are back. If I SSH now again, let me put it here. Cut, Etsy, OS release. Ignore this OMV7. This is just a prompt. But this is not true anymore because this is Open Media Vault 8. And we can see we've got version 13 installed of the underlying operating system. I can also run this command. That will show me that we are indeed running on version 8.0.3. <laughs> I think it's even newer than this one. Let's have a look. The package L. Uh, we, and we grab for Open Media Vault. Yes. I installed this one yesterday and it's already obsolete. We've got already version 8.0.3 and this one is still running 8.0.2. All right, but that's the upgrade process. For me, it went perfectly fine, but some users said that they had some issues after upgrade from version 7 to version 8. So you might also have a look at this post that's on the forum on Open Media Vault web page and it points to a bash script called fix 7 to 8 upgrade. And you can run that, uh, that script, that fix, that should resolve any of the underlying issues you might have. And if you want to see the source code of that script, then just head, head to this GitHub page. And don't worry, I will list all those links in the video description and in the pinned comment at the top of the, you know, you will find it right, right under the video. And please remember that the new OS base, like going from Debian 12 to Debian 13, also means that all underlying plugins and all dependencies are also upgraded. What I mean is, for example, if you run a Docker on your OMV, on your Open Media Vault, then remember that the dependencies for that Docker will be shifted too. I hope that makes sense. So the big question really is, OMV8 is out, but should you hit that upgrade button on your main server today? And my advice is absolutely not, or not yet at least. I suggest that you run it only in a test lab for now, because uh, rule number one of the server administration is you should never upgrade to minor version zero on the day zero or <laughs> on that early stage, you know, as it, is, as it is now. Just give it a few weeks. Let the bug get squashed, let the plugin developers uh, catch up. And if you do want to try it, spin it up first in a VM on Proxmox server, for example, which is what I do, what I usually do in here, in this example as well, or use a spare SSD or any other method that will not harm any of your important data. Do not risk your family photos or some crucial data by running it on that re recently released OMV version. But it's obviously your choice and your decision, so I wonder, are you going for full upgrade to Open Media Vault 8? Or are you going to test it first? Or maybe are you sticking with version 7 for now and you are, you are going to revisit the upgrade option in a few weeks or maybe even a few months? So let me know in the comments what is your decision. Thank you for watching and happy home loving. Thanks, Marek.